Hi, I'm Peter Dudley and I'm a Logic Trainer and I'm here to tell you about the latest update to Logic 10, 10.1, major update. The last update to Logic was last May, May 2014 and here we are on the 21st of January, yes, just checking the date and time, 21st of January and uh, we have a really exciting packed update here, free for existing Logic 10 users in the App Store turning up any time now. So let's talk about what's new with regard to the drummers. First of all, when we create a brand new track in Logic, we can now select the genre straight away, whereas before you couldn't do that in the previous update. That's some, something new that I've noticed. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at two brand new drummers in the alternative category. Before I go ahead, it's very important to say, by the way, once you've downloaded Logic, the update from the App Store, you also need to download all the relevant content. You will be prompted to do that, but just make sure you do have everything installed. Absolutely everything is there. Okay. Uh, in my case, I haven't got the legacy incompatibility, but all these other elements uh, to demonstrate the drummers and some of the other features, that's all included in the other installed updates there. So, as I said, let's go ahead and create a drummer in the alternative category. In previous versions of Logic, you would have been familiar with most of these drummers. There's two brand new ones there, Maya and also Duncan. Okay, so let's just uh, quickly audition some of these patterns. Some really sort of classic drum machine sounds going on there and uh, from the 80s probably lin drums and other elements uh, built in. Um, the major thing here is that you have a brand new plugin called the drum machine designer and this is amazing. Let me just close the library on the left hand side. This is a brand new plugin to the update 10.1. So as I'm playing the pattern, you can see the different cells are flashing. And what you can do here is if you do a control click, you can create a track for the kick drum just straight away like that. And any other elements that are playing, let's just do this while it's playing. Control click, let's create a snare, hi-hat. Etc. So straight away, I'm creating separate tracks, just just as simple as that. And what's really nice is when you click on any of the cells, you get instant access to the useful parameters for the kick drum, pitch, uh, decay, and other elements. And the parameters actually change slightly depending on what kind of kick drum or what kind of uh, kit element that you're editing. Uh, there's more than one page of sounds often, so there's lots going on here. Now the other interesting element is if we go into the mixer, let's just close the uh, the drummer editor's gone anyway. I used to call it the drummer editor, but this is the drum machine editor now, of course. Now if we open up the mixer, you can actually see already um, all the outputs, whether they're being used in this pattern or not, are actually open in the mixer as separate tracks. Very, very powerful. There you go. So I'm just giving you a very, very quick overview here of what's possible. So going back to the, um, the actual drum, the drum machine editor, I'm in the mixer there, try that one, there we go. Let's go to the drummer selector, go to Duncan, let's have a listen. And here we've got a layer between acoustic sounds and electronic sounds, very nice. We can change the, the kits and the patterns just in the, as in we could do with the original drummer. We can change elements of the pattern. If I want, I can take out elements of the pattern I don't want to hear, like so. So two new drummers in the alternative category. However, there's lots more. There's 10 brand new drummers in total. And we're going to look at two brand new categories now. We have electronic, five drummers there. 
and hip hop. Okay, so just a quick sampling of what these sound like. Uh, change drummer. Let's, uh, as this is more in the dance category, let's go for a tempo of say 130. Try some variations. And just, a, just in the same way that we could alter the drummer's pattern and playing behavior in the previous version of Logic with the acoustic drum kits, we can do exactly the same, of course, by moving the puck around. Just going to turn on the cycle there for the first eight bars. When I let go of the puck, the pattern updates. Let's have a listen to Leah. Some really nice patterns here. So let's just jump to the hip hop category. Maybe wind the tempo down a bit, down to about 95, 96, or thereabouts. Now we need to slow the tempo down a bit more on that one. Really nice, really good sound, as with the previous drummers, but you know the, these samples sound really, really good. Um, for each of these drummers as well, I've noted that there's a couple of kits that you can try. That was using a kit called Trapdoor. We've got one here called Atlanta. And also, uh, just to go back to the drum, drum kit designer, um, drum machine designer, Okay, um, I'm just finding out about this new software. <laughs> um, it's really quick to mute certain elements on these cells here, mute, solo, etc. But what's really nice, you'll see here as well, we've got a lot of, a lot of flexibility with the effects uh, on the mix side. Obviously you can get in and alter the levels quite easily. Or just completely mute an element very quickly. Now if you press the letter B, that's the shortcut for smart controls in Logic, and that mirrors these controls down here, so you can go in, take out any elements you don't want to hear. We can resize this like this, and what's really nice, uh, we can actually, can actually change the filter. Okay, so that was it really. I just wanted to spend a little bit of time, I think it's possibly the first video out on YouTube describing the new features of the drummer. Um, please like and subscribe, uh, visit my website, I provide uh, private training in Greater London in the UK, otherwise uh, feel free to get in contact. Have a great day, thank you.